Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tactics, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. And guys, we need to talk. This goes out to the guys. I'm always giving feminists, internet feminists, a hard time. But guys, now it's your turn. Man, society has come to the internet. Society has smashed into the internet and it has messed up my beautiful internet. And it has brought some unfortunate things to my shores, like feminists who have stories horrible stories that I have had to listen to and I shouldn't say had to I should say choose to because I want to know the truth about what reality and what is in reality that is so right here Conor McGregor and his wife she's heard some shit she knows some shit look at the eyes look at the difference in the eyes that man is just he's he's known for graping people she's with him she's going through this She's, she's just figured it like just look at those eyes look at the difference in these eyes i had no idea this stuff was happening and i consider myself well connected to the internet but i'm not well connected to the sports side the sports side is where we get all of our rough tough men who all of my feminists compare me to and bitch about okay now we got to do something about this shit. Now, we're on the internet. I'm on the internet. I'm in dark places. Every now and then, I see some shit. Every now and then, I see things like pedophiles. Let's say that they exist online because they freaking well do. So there, I have a responsibility to deal with this shit. The police know me. I know the police because I deal with this shit. Now, this is one thing I'm getting really upset about. Men aren't dealing with the shit that they have to deal with. They act as if women are something that can be used, something that can be manipulated. Manipulated, and if you're powerful, you get to treat them like uh, like uh, instruments. I am freaking sick of it because when this happens, I get blamed for it. And when I argue with these women, this is the kind of monster that they warn me about. That they say every man, every woman needs to be worried about that you are. And meanwhile, we're making this guy a king. He's a king. He has graped women, and when women have tried to come out. His fans have burned their car down and beaten the shit out of their boyfriends. Guys, guys, we as males have to do better here. This is the kind of shit that the people who I date give me problems for. This is the kind of stuff that we are all judged for across reality. And I'm asking you to freaking stop it and call out your monsters on their shit because this is how we get Diddy, Epstein, and Weinstein. And though I have nothing to do with any of these people, I get blamed by these feminists. Guys, there are monsters in the dark. If we don't deal with them, we are as bad as them. How have we made this guy so popular? Yeah, she looks like she just found out something horrible. She always knew, it's just everyone else knows now too, and she can't have plausible deniability. I wonder if she's just staying with them because she likes the lifestyle and the protection and all that stuff. Now as I'm going through the dating world, I'm finding out that women like bad boys because bad boys uh, seem to be good and protectors and good provider. Is this that situation? Maybe this is just a bad girl that likes the good and the protection and the provider. They're not together. I don't think that if she divorces him, she's going to get anything. But now I have to wonder for a freaking second, is she only, if she, is she fine with him and she's only with him for the money and for the protection? Like, if we talk to females, we can f easily find females that will easily validate stuff like, like this. For other females, maybe not for other males so much. He violently beat and graped a woman in Dublin? Allegedly. Okay, now here's the important part. Here's the important part. A group of masked men broke into her home, damaged it, stabbed her partner! Holy shit, stab, not even just beat the shit out of. Court case against McGregor ruled that the event was not relevant to the case. Oh, this is dark. That is freaking dark. Okay, straight up, this is evil. This, this is evil. This is evil and we're letting it continue. Because, um, because of this man wow he doesn't even have it's not just him he doesn't even have the balls on his or was it the fans 
Okay, so in this is a hell for women. Hell has many roads. Most of the time, the roads to hell are paved with good intentions. Connor allegedly had good intentions to get his wiener wet. And I'm noticing a lot of people will do a lot of horrible things to get their wiener wet. Even dismember entire families. I should say, take entire families apart, because I've seen that happen multiple times. And when we want to open our eyes and look towards the truth, we'll find out that, uh, yeah, it does happen. There are things called family annihilators, and we put them in jail, and they're also on TikTok. They don't kill anyone, but they kill families. But that's okay, because families aren't important, right? So is this tech-related? Yeah. I'm definitely going to say this is tech-related. Man, mostly because this is the shit that I deal with. This is legitimately the red-hot iron of shit that I have to deal with, with the therapists, with the uh, social workers, with the people that I talk to, with the women that I fall in love with, uh, that I meet on social media, and they teach me so much. And they tell me things like every woman has to be worried that every man is going to rape them. And I'm like, what the hell? And then I come to this reality. Guys, I can't argue with the feminists when this stuff comes up. So money has a way of making things go away. And if you have more money, then law will be better for you. Like, here we got Puff Daddy, right? I'm just trying to show you how money can insulate you from prison. Okay, so I was to understand that within the rap community, um, he blew up somebody's car for trying to date his girlfriend, and that was one of the big reasons why this sexual misconduct stuff is sticking to Diddy. But one thing I want to get through, the nuance of the Diddy thing the nuance of the McGregor thing. It's a lot of people knew what was going on and nobody said or did anything. And when you have money, you can make problems go away. And as I'm reading through McGregor and Diddy, I'm seeing them making problems go away. And with Diddy, I am seeing, it looks like a few people just want to mess around. Let's face it. But this picture, it says so much. Why is she still with him? Why? why it just there's so much to be said here there's so much that we don't understand and at the end of it i'm going to have to answer for this because the women that i date are going to point to this when they talk about how bad men are okay so i'm here doing my part and talking to people and being like guys we can't let this shit slide but at the same time all the cool girls have to stop hanging out with the bad boys you hear that the cool girls have to stop hanging out with the bad boys. The cool girls have to figure out who the bad boys are, notice that the bad boys are bad, and not sleep with them, okay? Just don't sleep with the bad boys. Stay away from the bad boys, because women like to date the bad boys. And then when they come back, they're like, oh, ho, ho, the bad boy broke my heart, so I'm going to take it out on the good boys. And this is just a big cycle, a big cycle. But if there's two things I'm really freaking sick of here is is women being with monsters and me getting in shit for the monsters that these women date. Yeah. Yeah. That was therapeutical to say. That was so therapeutical to say because I have to put up with the shit that these women subject themselves to. It's legitimately if you go to after hours clubs if you go to after hours clubs and complain about being raped, it's just like, it's what happens in after hours clubs. You put yourself in these situations and then bad things happen. Yes, I feel very bad for you. I feel very bad for you. But did you need to be in that position? You've taken yourself in a position and put yourself in a position outside of the law, in a place that's not supposed to be open. Does it even have 911 access? Like, seriously. Y'all are worried so much about drugs and stuff, and then you run out into the night, and then you do drugs in the strangest places. Sorry, man. TikTok smashed into the internet. Changed all of freaking society. And now this is the stuff that I have to put up with. That's the cycle in this new feminist thing. 
I am guilty for the shit that this guy did. She's probably not going to leave him. My girlfriend is going to give me shit about things that this guy has done. And I'm going to ask why she hasn't left. And I'm going to hear, oh, trauma, abuse, you know, I'm like, God damn it. So it's his fault. I would never, I would never grape an individual. I would never, I've never touched a woman in anger because I'm not a piece of shit. But this is what's going on in today's society. I'm going to be blamed for this shit. And we need to catch our guys that do this shit. And we can't let this shit happen, guys. Anyways, have a good one, folks. Take care of each other.